welcome back to my YouTube channel, Eileen here and today I'm bringing you a new pole tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to do a crucifix. The crucifix is one of the first pole tricks you will learn after doing an inversion. Your contact point are your legs, so make sure you grip them very hard into the pole. This is a very important trick as you will use it as a beginner, intermediate or an advanced poler. The crucifix will be used not only as a trick itself, but as a preparation for more difficult tricks. Crucifix You're going to choose one side to stand on beside the pole and you're going to go for an inversion. From there you're going to take your legs into the pole and put one leg in front and one leg behind, just as you would put them if you were doing a climb. You're going to squeeze very hard with your legs into the pole, gripping with your thighs and your ankles and your whole legs and you're going to stop gripping with your hands. You're going to take your bottom hand off the pole, taking your body behind the pole and then your other arm and you're going to keep them straight on your sides. Lift your chest up and look into the floor. Reach the floor with your hands and if you were scared to take your arms off the pole before, you can take them off now, starting from the floor, taking one arm and then the other. Then try to loosen your grip from your legs a little and start sliding down while you walk forward with your arms. Grip with your thighs, push the floor with your arms and slowly come down. Until you get into the floor. Remember to always keep one leg in front and one leg behind and to grip very hard with your legs. They are your contact points, so you really need to squeeze very hard and grip them into a pole. Taking your body behind the pole and to lift your chest up and look into the floor, lifting your hands straight into the sides. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications and let me know in the comments all the feedback that you'd like to give me. I hope I see you soon on my next video.